Welcome to the official D Money Games set review for Skullamance Academy. Um, I'm going to be going through each individual card, and it's going to be there's going to be a different video for each class, and also for the neutral cards as well. And we're going to be ranking them based on what you see at the top left of the screen. Five is broken slash always played. Four is very strong or typically played. Three is above average. Uh, slash played sometimes two is below average played a little bit and uh, one is bad or unplayable Getting started with priest. Uh, we see wave of apathy for one mana uh, Set the attack of all enemy minions to one until your next turn. So this card is also in Paladin uh, But I think this card is a lot stronger in priest because they have stuff to combo off with it Like cabal shadow priest and also the new cabal card that they got as well which is right here cabal acolyte um, yeah, so I think this card is going to be really strong. It's also just going to delay your opponent from uh, being able to kill you. So it's just a good control tool in general. And it's only one mana. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to give this card a 5 out of 5 in Priest, honestly. The next card we see here is Gift of Luminance. 3 mana spell. Give a minion Divine Shield. Then summon a 1-1 one, one copy of it. So this is really good in Priest because Priest has been notoriously... Uh, Involving death rattle minions into their comp and now they have grave rune to also add a little spiciness to that and uh, I think Using this card on one of those is going to be really powerful um, Especially with the new giants that they got as well. I think we can see some pretty crazy stuff uh, Happening with grave rune and uh, just resurrect priests in general, which a lot of people don't like but uh, Looks like it's gonna be pretty good there. I'm gonna give this card a four out of five to a legendary high abyss allura four mana three six spell burst cast a target cast a spell from your deck targets this if possible so there aren't really too many priest cards that you want to be uh targeting this um unless you're playing some kind of tempo oriented priest deck which i think could actually find a spot somewhere here um it's gonna be interesting i don't know if it's gonna be good but I think using cards like Power Word Feast and also the Gandling are going to help you as well if you're running like a tempo deck. And then you have the faz the Frazzled Freshman to uh, kind of help you with tempo as well. I think it could be a thing. I don't know how good it's going to be though. I'm going to give this card uh, a 3 in Priest. I, I really think it's better off in Paladin because they have more buff cards overall. Um, and usually in a Priest deck you want to be running removal. Uh, but yeah, that's my, that's my thoughts on it. Devout Pupil. 6 mana, 4, 5, Divine Shield, Taunt. Uh, cost 1 less for each spell you've cast on friendly characters this game. This card seems pretty good in Priest because you're you're typically using like some renews on friendly... I mean, when you play Renew, you're using on a friendly character. You could generate more stuff to, to put on friendly characters, especially with like Sethic Veilweaver. Um, and yeah, and like a tempo kind of deck, along with that, two, that new 2-mana uh, two spell here. Uh, this card seems pretty nice in Priest and Paladin overall, so I'm going to give this card a 4 out of 5. I think it's an overall solid card. Raise Dead, 0 mana spell, deals 3 damage to your hero, return 2 friendly minions that died this game to your hand. Uh, yeah, this card in Priest is uh, looking really, really good. The ability to return 2 things, usually 3 health is not going to matter on your hero. I mean, you could just heal it up with Renew or like anything. Uh, even like almost your hero power. So you're just getting all that extra value, which Priest barely even needs because they have infinite value. But like this is super good because you're actually getting minions that you most likely want. If you're putting them in your deck, you're most likely going to want to play them again. Unless you get like tokens that get generated. But uh, yeah, this card's really, really strong. Um, just allowing you to replay things. Uh, if you're playing a Highlander deck, you can replay Highlander cards as well. This card is super good. 5 out of 5. No doubt. Next up is Draconic Studies. One mana spell. Discover a dragon. Your next one costs one less. I think this card is not as powerful as other studies that we've seen. But first of all, I love the art on it. Um, and then second of all, it's just that reducing the cost of your next dragon is so strong. Um, that I think this card is just good overall. I don't think it's one of the best studies though. Uh, it's a little slow, and I don't know if you actually need this card in your deck, but I'm going to give it a 3 because it is a good card overall, but it's, it just might not be good enough. Yeah, Frazzled Freshman. 1 mana, 1 4. That's it. <laughs> need I say more? Yeah, that's, that's a good card. Uh, that's about as good as you're going to get for a 1 drop, and especially with some uh, tools, some tempo tools that we've been seeing, the, the new 
plus two plus two buff i think this card is a uh a four out of five it's, it's borderline broken i mean a one mana one four uh it's borderline broken it's just good i don't know what to say about this card Two mana, one three. Battle cry, battle cry. Swap hands and decks with your opponent until your next turn. This is a five out of five card. I think everybody is in agreement with that. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with this. Uh, you can disrupt combos. You can get. Uh, you can just like, uh, if you have an empty hand, you can just switch with your opponent and then just play all their shit. Uh, the possibilities are really endless. And you're only playing around your own hand, which you know already, so... But I think I already said enough. We're good. It's a 5 out of 5. I don't think anybody questions it, really, right? <laughs> uh, next card is Power Word Feast. 2 mana. Give a minion plus 2 plus 2. Restore it to full health at the end of this turn. So the end of this turn, uh, restoring it to health is kind of a new mechanic. Uh, for a spell, at least. And uh, yeah, the plus 2 plus 2 buff for 2 mana... This seems really, really strong. Uh, you could use it on a guy that's damaged and then it's going to heal up at the end. Or you could use it to trade and then it heals up. And a plus two, plus two buff for two mana is, is good. I think this card's a five out of five. Okay, Brittle Bone Destroyer. Four mana, three, three. Battle cry, if your hero's health changed this turn, destroy a minion. I think a lot of people have been hating on this card, but I think it's very strong overall. Uh, I just... I just don't think you even need it, honestly. So, like, I think the effect is fine. To get it off, you're usually having to hero power, so you're usually having to spend at least two mana, so it becomes a six mana card. But if you have things like Apotheosis already on a minion, or if you have maybe a Renew, then it, it's going to be four mana or five mana and destroy a minion. So, it's good overall. I just don't think you need it, but we'll see. Um, it might be better in, in Warlock, honestly. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5. Next up is Cabal Acolyte. 4 mana, 2, 6. With Taunt and Spellburst, gain control of a random enemy minion with 2 or less attack. Uh, yeah, this card is super duper good. Uh, it's really good in conjunction with the new 1 mana spell that reduces their attack to 1. And uh, a 4 mana, 2, 6 Taunt is just good. We've seen it in the past. It's, it's, it's pretty strong. And that, that effect, if they leave it up, or if you get it off in one turn. Dealing something with two or less attack, which, I mean, there's a lot of new beasts for Hunter that are going to be under that threshold. And there's going to be Demon Hunter cards that are under that threshold as well. I think I think this card is very strong. I give this card a 4 out of 5. Super solid. Disciplinarian Gandling. 4 mana, 3, 6. After you play a minion, destroy it and summon a 4, 4 fell student. This can work in the tempo kind of variant that I'm thinking of. I just don't think that's going to be a thing. In Priest, you typically don't play small guys too much. Um, so I really don't see it being too good in Priest unless a tempo variant starts uh, coming out. But for Priest, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. 6 mana spell. Deal 4 damage to a minion. If that kills it, summon a new copy. So this card is kind of uh, similar. You can compare this to Holy Water, which was a 5-mana spell that uh, did 4 damage to a minion, and if it killed it, you got a copy to your hand. Uh, the fact that this actually summons a new copy for 1 extra mana, I think this card is very strong. I think uh, I don't think all decks run it, but I think you run it in Highlander Priest, and it's very good. I'm going to give this card a 4 out of 5. Flesh Giant, 8-mana, eight 8-8. Eight, eight. Cost one less for each time your hero's health changed during your turn. So you can get it to proc multiple times during each turn. It's not only it's not capped out at one per turn. Uh, I think this card's really, really good. Um, you're gonna be healing up in multiple ways, whether it's with your hero power, renew, apotheosis. Uh, I think this card is very strong, especially when you use it with Grave Rune or Psyche Split. I'm gonna give this card a four out of five. I think it's gonna be solid. Overall, looks like they got some good stuff. Uh, it looks like they kind of went in two different directions, though. A little bit in the tempo direction, a little bit in the control direction. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out, but I think overall they got strong cards. Uh, Mind Render Elusia is one that that just uh, jumps out to you. Uh, but yeah, I think overall pretty solid stuff. I like where it's going. Uh, it's going to be fun to play, for sure.
Of course, all these ratings are my own opinions, and uh, I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear uh, what your opinions are on certain cards, what you think I may be underrated or overrated. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying out all these decks on stream on August 6th. That's when it drops. I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream. If you want my stream link, it is below in the description. I'll be doing a 24-hour stream with giveaways, with viewer games. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I hope you come by. And that is all. Peace out, guys.